companies that are more diverse perform better. I thought if we were going to be successful and build a great enduring company, we had to have diversity of thought, diversity of representation throughout all levels of PayPal. And so um, we've seen that you discovered when you set out to do this study a $3 million delta your first year. Some people said, well, it's $3 million, maybe you can start to do that over multiple years. And I was like, no, if our value truly is about inclusion, truly is about promoting diversity, we need to fix it and fix it now. And think about it, it's a little ridiculous that a company the size of PayPal, even back then, can't figure out how to do $3 million when if you're going to promote diversity and have it as a competitive advantage, you're not paying equally. And so to me, it was truly a no-brainer to fix that right away. What did it take for you to be like, this is just what this is just what's happening and it'll pay off in the long run? Yeah. I think there are a combination of, you know, people in our HR department saying, let's smooth this out people in our finance department saying, you know, well, wait, this is going to have maybe some impact on, you know, some of our financials. But truly, in the great scheme of things, it's incredibly small. How do you define equal pay and how do you reconcile the need for pay for performance with the need to pay people equally? The way that we think about it is we look first at job title, then we look at years of experience, and we look at location. So those are objective things that you can look at, and if you see pay differences there, then the next thing you do is you say, okay, well, what about performance? And so you have to overlay the, some subjectivity on that based on performance. But the way you get away from just that being a subjective thing is you bring in somebody from the outside, and you say, you know, we want to pay equally, and we want to pay it based on objective, factual criteria as well as performance and you come back to us and tell us where we have gaps and where we don't. What has been the biggest surprise and the biggest challenge? This isn't just about, like, it's the right thing to do. It's also about your own self-interest as a company and how we best serve cus customers because this idea of more diverse companies perform better, like, we need to stop that argument. That's not like a fact. Can you give me an example, though, whether you were launching a new product or you were tweaking a service or you were talking about cybersecurity or something where your assumptions were challenged and you benefited from having a diversity of voices? Are there, is there anything that comes to mind? I think where it's definitely given us an advantage is in recruiting mm -hmm. uh, talent. Um, I think we have a really good reputation um, that we are looking uh, for a diverse workforce. And when you have the best talent, then you serve customers better than anybody else.